Hey everyone, Lacey Waldrop here with Synergy. Today we're going to be going over our Team Logger app so that you can better utilize it for your fall scrimmages, fall games, any inner squads that you may have. So when you first log on to our Team Logger app, you're gonna get this screen. If you've never logged on before, you're gonna see a blank page right here without any games added. First, we're gonna go through our management tab and learn how to add players. This is gonna be really helpful when it comes to adding freshmen. And then we're also gonna go over how to add a team if you wanted to add a specific name for an inner squad, for example. So to do this, we're gonna go over to the management tab in the top left. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Um, and I'm going to go to teams here. You can see that I've already added two teams. One we'll utilize today is my practice squad, um, but I'm gonna show you first how to add a team. So we're gonna go to the top right where the plus sign is. We're gonna click add team, and you can label this team whatever you'd like. Um, so I just labeled mine my practice squad, and then you can give it an abbreviation. We'll choose the league. So for now, I'm gonna choose USA Softball, Conference USA, and Division 18 U Gold. After I've chosen all of my correct team names, abbreviations, leagues, I'm just gonna click apply, and then that team is going to populate for me within the logger. I already have added this team, so I'm just going to cancel. Um, but now you can see that my practice squad is here, and now I'm gonna be able to add players to this team that I just created. So I'm gonna go back to the middle, click players, and as I said earlier, I've added a few players already, but I'm gonna show you how to add one more. So I'm gonna to go to the top right, click add player. You're always gonna look for that plus sign, and I'm going to add Kat Osterman to the league. I'm going to choose USA Softball, whichever league um, my team that I created is under, and then if I type in M, my practice squad comes up. She's a pitcher, I think we all know that. And then she throws left-handed. You can add as much or as little information in here if you want. So if you wanna add jersey number, you can add that. If you wanna add bats and throws, you'll add that as well. That's completely up to you. After that, we'll press apply. And then now you can see that Kat Osterman is added to my lineup. So I now have a full lineup here that's gonna show up in my games tab. So that's how you set up your players and set up a team. Now I'm gonna go back to the games tab in my upper left corner, click that, and I'm going to learn how to add a game. So looking for that same plus sign, add game. I'm gonna choose the league that I just created, so USA Softball. You can change the date and the time to match your inner squad time. And for game type right now, I'm going to choose Gold Nationals. And I'm going to type in uh, just a random away team. You can see that they've been added before, so they're going to populate a roster in the right side, and they already have a lineup added previously, so that will populate as well. When it comes to the team that I just created, I've never made a lineup with them yet, so I'm gonna add them in as home team. I'm gonna go to the middle, click my practice squad, and you can see so far that no lineup is added because I haven't had a game with them yet. But all my players are going to appear on the right side of the roster, so now I can select them, put them into the lineup as my lineup is made, and then I can also change their positions. So we're going to make a lineup really quickly. And I'm just going to make sure that all positions are selected, but I can always go back and change those at the end as well. Okay, so here I have a full lineup, all my positions are covered, and I have a pitcher selected. Let's say you wanted to add a DP instead of your pitcher hitting, you could put somebody else in there, select DP, and then you would choose your other pitcher, and now she's going to be listed as the pitcher, and she'll also say DP bats instead of flex player, so she'll be listed as your flex player. Once you have your lineups completely set up, you're ready to start the game and we're going to click apply. If you have no errors and everybody's in order um, in their positions and you have nine players at least, everything's going to save and you'll be able to move on accordingly. And that is how we set up our games and how to utilize our management tab.